God has plans to prosper you, give you hope and a future too. So let me remind you of what you have the power to do. You can win, live your dreams, reach your goals. Hello, you're listening to the Cassandra Mack Podcast, where we maximize success and de-stress from the mess through a biblical lens. Make sure to hang out until the end. I have a special prayer that I'm going to pray for you. When you get a moment, stop by the website, CassandraMackMinistries.com. Check out our books, inspirational mugs, hoodies, and t-shirts, all designed with your mental health in mind to inspire you to live your blessed life. Happy birthday to all of the December birthdays. When is your birthday? What are you doing? How are you celebrating? Shout out to those of you who are listening from all around the world. What country are you listening from? What city? Where are you? Where are you? And a big thank you to those of you who support this podcast, this ministry, with your financial offerings. We could not do what we do without you. And so I am so grateful for you. Today's podcast is being sponsored by my holiday prayer guide, Simple Prayers for the Holidays. This book takes into account all the ways that people experience the holidays and there are different prayers that will warm your heart. If you haven't picked up a copy of my uh, holiday song, Spread Love and Be Kind, it is available on all streaming platforms. It will bless your life. On today's episode, we're talking about three simple tips to start taking off the old version of you. As we approach a new year, one of the things that a lot of people do is they make New Year's resolutions. Some people say they don't make resolutions, but what they do is they plan ahead concerning some changes that they want to make in their lives, some things they want to leave behind, some things they want to do differently. And so in this podcast, we're going to touch on three simple tips to start taking off the old version of yourself if you want to make some changes. So the scripture that will keep us cemented in this uh, perspective comes from Ephesians chapter 4 verse uh, 22 and it says that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust and so it's interesting that the scripture says that you put off concerning your former conduct and so when we're putting something off that is an action word it doesn't happen by Osmosis, we actually have to do the work to put off the old man, to take off the old version of ourselves so that we can grow in who we are meant to be uh, in God, so we can grow and become more uh, Christ-like. And so I want to give you uh, three simple ways that we can begin to do this, and I'm going to be putting this into practice in my own life. So often when a new year approaches, we make all of these lofty goals and we have a list of a gazillion things we want to do. And then come February, we look and we have gotten very little accomplished and we tend to beat ourselves up. And so I think the first tip is going to be the most helpful and that's keep it simple. Keep it simple. You know, it's difficult to change a habit because that behavior has become so deeply ingrained in our lives that it is not only automatic, but it tends to be our first response. It's easy. And new behaviors can be hard to develop also because you may not feel motivated to do them consistently. And so simply just keeping it simple allows us to integrate the new behaviors that we are trying to put into practice into our routines. Think about the fruit of the spirit, right? It's called fruit. What does fruit start out as? A seed, a seed. And so 
whether we're trying to become a more patient person, more disciplined in a certain area, it is going to start out as a seed. And then you have to water that seed. So we're watering that seed through reading the word of God, through meditating on the word of God, but not just being a hearer of the word. We also have to do what the word says, right? We have to be doers of the word. And so when we keep it simple, meaning take life one day at a time. And so rather than saying, I'm going to lose 50 pounds, it might be, you know what? I'm going to lose five pounds a month and the five pounds a month will get you to the 50 pounds. I'm going to change the way I eat. I'm going to incorporate more exercise into my regimen. I'm using that. Uh, but it can be any change that you are trying to make in your life. So keep it simple. Two, think long-term lifestyle change over time. Again, so often we want to have these gazillion things that we want to do. But when you're thinking that this is going to be part of my lifestyle, like I, as a believer, I'm going to walk by faith. And so as a lifestyle change, right, of walking by faith, and becoming more intentional about not allowing self-doubt to rob me of my confidence, my joy, my peace. I am going to have uh, times where sometimes my faith might be a little weak and it needs to be strengthened. And I can't beat myself up because I have had a weak moment because I'm playing the long game for life. I'm in this for life. I am walking with God for life. And when I understand that and I'm thinking long-term life, lifestyle uh, over time and I remember that the fruit of the Spirit is just that fruit and it starts out as a seed, then I can begin to make progress in the areas where I am working on me. You know, we all have emotional battles. Some of us have battles uh, in, in terms of... Uh, things that we're really trying to get a handle on, but they have a strong hold over our mind. And we know that who the sun says free is free indeed, but we are the one physically that are walking out that freedom. And so think long term, because when you think short term, any time that you may fall off, right? You tend to beat yourself up because you're thinking in the moment rather than, you know what? I'm in, I'm in this for life. I'm going to have ups and downs. Three, persist. Be persistent. Do not give up. Be steadfast. Steadfastness. The Bible talks about steadfastness for a reason, because there will be times that we feel weary. But when we feel weary, we got to remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so persist in whatever the things, whatever the things are that you are trying to change in your life, the uh, changes you're making, whether those changes are financial, behavioral, uh, health and fitness, whatever those changes are, might be character changes. There may be things about your personality that you, you're like, you know what? This can be a turnoff to some people and I need to work on this. And, and you know what you need to work on. Just be honest. Go to God and ask God, ask God those questions. God, what are some things in me that I need to be working on? And so you got to persist, Right. Bad habits are hard to break, but the good news is if you keep at the new habit, that new behavior that you're doing will turn into a habit. And so maybe you don't pray as often as you need to, right? As often as you would like to. And you want to pray more consistently. You want to develop a more consistent prayer life. I actually have a book that will help you with that called Simple Prayers to Pray When You Don't Know What to Say. And that is a book of Bible-based prayers to really help you on your way to cultivating a more consistent and dynamic prayer life. And so let's say that you want to pray more consistently and you find you don't, right? You have to persist. So maybe you might say, gosh, you know, yesterday I didn't pray. Today's a new day. Today's a new day. You can just start by thanking God. Start by counting your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life. That's the first thing I say in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life. Then I count my blessings. Thank you, Do uh, thank you, Lord, for life, for health, for strength. And so you can begin to develop a more consistent prayer life just by deciding when you wake up that you are going to incorporate that in part of your day, as part of your day. And if you find that you have times where you fall off, Get back on the wagon. 
Don't stay stuck. Don't stay there and say, wow, because I didn't pray yesterday, I'm not going to pray for the rest of the week. That's not, that doesn't make any sense, right? If you were trying to eat better and you fell off your eating plan, you're not going to say, okay, because I fell off my eating plan, I'm going to eat five cakes every day for the rest of my life. No, you were going to say, okay, yesterday, hey, I had the cheesecake. Today is a new day. Let's start over. And so it's the same thing with anything that we're trying to do as we are taking off the old man and we are putting on the new man in Christ. We have to be steadfast and we have to know that our help comes from the Lord and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. But it happens one day at a time because life is lived out one day at a time. And so I hope that that helps you, whatever your goals are, whatever the things are that you want to accomplish in the new year. And in the comments section, what are some of your goals? What is one thing that you want to do so you can take off the old man and begin to move into a, a newer version of you? And so if you would like to dive deeper into Bible-based mental well-being, personal development, Bible-based self-growth uh, topics... I would strongly encourage you to become a member of the Cassandra Mack YouTube channel. If you are a member at the Second Terra Higher, you get access to our Wednesday Wellness Club and it is cheaper than therapy. Our Wednesday Wellness Club is a therapeutic group that meets twice a month by conference call and we focus on mental self-care, emotional well-being, mental well-being through a biblical lens. And if you would like to make the investment in your self-care, your mental well-being, it is an investment that is a uh, that is wise. You also get access uh, to our church by phone replays as a member. So of course, the live church by phone service is always free, always available to the public. But sometimes there are things that are said during the church by phone service and you want to listen to them over and over and over and over again. Because the way that we build a skill is through repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill. So you may want to be able to have access to that. So that comes with being a member of the YouTube channel at the Second Terra Higher. And there's so much more. So if you're interested in finding out more about becoming a member, uh, you can go to the website, CassandraMacMinistries.com. Click on the link that says membership. Follow the prompts from there. If you're listening from YouTube, you'll see a link that says uh, become a member. Click on the link. And you'll see that there are three levels of membership. But if you want access to the Wednesday Wellness Club and the replays, then you need to be a member at the second tier or higher. And I would also encourage you to pick up one of my books. So for those of you who want, uh, you know, more Bible-based tools, you want more information than what a video and a podcast can provide you, I have resources for you. I create these resources for all of us so that we can navigate this life with biblical wisdom, resilience, and grace. So pick up one of the books. There is a uh, Simple Prayers to Pray When You Don't Know What to Say. Uh, again, that's a book that will help you to develop a consistent, a more consistent prayer life. If you are struggling in the area of confidence, or if you have teenagers or young adults who struggle in the area of confidence, pick up the book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am. That is a book that takes scriptures that speak to our identity as children of the Most High God, and then it shows you how to affirm those scriptures in your life personally so that you are showing up as that person. So when we say scriptures like, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, how would it look like if you affirm that, if you were walking through life as a person who truly believes that? So many people who have this particular book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am, say that they keep this book along with their Bible. They read their Bible first thing in the morning, and then they go to Speaking Life Into Your I Am for the lesson on how to actually activate that particular scripture that speaks to identity in their lives. So you won't be disappointed. So those are just some of the ways that you can dive deeper. If our ministry has been a blessing to you, consider giving a financial offering. Every bit helps. We thank those of you who support the ministry with your finances. We couldn't do what we do without you. For more inspirational tips, tools, and teachings, again, you're always invited to join me live by phone for our church by phone service. You can find out more at the website, CassandraMacMinistries.com. You can become a member of the YouTube channel and you can pick up one of our resources. 
So let's make sure that we end our podcast with a prayer. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, before we ask anything of you, we just thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. As we begin to close out this year and enter into a new year, we ask that you help us to take off the old man and put on the new man. Help us to see the things about ourselves where we may need to grow in those areas. Help us to be honest with ourselves, to be honest with you in the areas where we need to make a change. Help us to walk into the abundant life that is available for us through Christ. We seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. So have a blessed rest of the year. You can finish this year strong. Have a happy and a healthy new year. God bless you. Sip of Scripture, a collection of bite-sized Bible verse songs for meditation and relaxation with yours truly, Cassandra Mack. For many of us, our lives are so busy and hectic that we don't get our devotional time in like we should. So in this extended play, we're going to sip on the scriptures together as we listen to powerful Bible verses in spoken word and in song. Bible says, make a joyful noise, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. One of the reasons among many why meditating or deeply reflecting on the scriptures is so powerful is because Bible scriptures give us inner strength. They give us spiritual power, emotional healing, and wisdom for life. So as you're listening to the words of these songs, perhaps you're curled up with a good book, or you're sipping on a fresh brewed cup of coffee or tea, or you're drinking your lemon water. Maybe you're writing in your journal or you're reading along in your Bible. You might be driving in your car or cozied up under the covers. Or you might be looking out the window, daydreaming. Wherever you are, and whatever you're doing right in this moment, my prayer for you is that you allow the words in these simple Bible meditation songs to give you strength, comfort, power, and to soothe your soul. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Isaiah 26 and 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. It's already inside of you. 
You give me perfect peace like a sunny day. You give me perfect peace like the summer rain. You give me perfect peace like the blue sky. You give me perfect peace like a butterfly. So when I am stressed, in your peace I will rest. And I won't obsess, cause you know what's best. Deep breath, right where you are. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel God's peace all around you. Feel God's peace flowing through you. And know that God will keep you in perfect peace. Say it with me. God will keep me in perfect peace. You give me perfect peace like a sunny day. You give me perfect peace like the summer rain. You give me perfect peace like the blue sky. You give me perfect peace like a butterfly. So when I am stressed, in your peace I will rest. I will